Oh, hi. I was just shaving my balls. But enough of that. Uh, we're here for Richard's uh, second birthday roast. Happy birthday, Richard. Sorry I couldn't be here, but... Uh, bisexual uh, dominatrix hot chick over here. Telling jokes about your uh, penis over here. It's a toss-up. It was a toss-up, really. But I'm going to start with the folks on the uh, on the panel. And Mr. Shane Gray. Shane's one of these uh, great comics who combines a wacky personality with a genuine sociopathic mental illness. I mean, it's like, Shane, I, I saw this, this thing you did about, like, I, I've heard it a dozen times where you're so shocked to be in line and this girl talking about having anal sex and how it was off the menu for you when you were a kid. Fuck, Shane. Did you have a coma through the 90s? I mean, fuck. I mean, just because a woman doesn't want to have anal sex with you doesn't mean she's not into it. Also, work on your line. Um, I don't think, hey girl, want to meet the ass wrecker is going to uh, work for anybody. But, you know, I could be wrong. And there's there's Josh, my buddy Josh Wood. Um, I've been doing stand-up comedy with him for a long time. And I can say that his uh, comedy never fails to meet expectations. And fill the allotted time right to the end. Yeah. I was sitting with this girl, and she's going, he was doing his uh, goat raping bit, right? And I was like, I, you know, I bet, uh, I bet he really raped a goat. I bet he really raped a goat. I go, no, not Josh. He's unemployed. He can't afford a whole goat. <laughs> Shit, man. And then BJ, I mean, DJ, how could I forget you having never, ever committed you to memory? I mean, it's, it's so nice to see a young comics work so bereft of social commentary and meaning. And uh, Will Scott. Well, yeah, Will, when he first uh, introduced himself to me, he was like, uh, I'm a cartoonist. I was like, well, I thought you were looked kind of live action to me, but, yeah, what do I know? And he's just so adorable. He's like a baby panda stuffed with kittens. He's like so cute. He just want to hug him and hug him and rape him and hug him. Wait, did I say that out loud? Yeah. And then there's Phil Keeling. What do you say about Phil Keeling? Seriously, what, what do you say about Phil Keeling? I shaved his beard off. I'd always assumed there was a chin under there. Live and learn. Yeah. Phil. He, we were doing this, this show. All right, so we were in, in this show. He's telling all these jokes about how much he likes to eat and how fat he is. And every one of the chicks in this place has 100 pounds on him. At least 100 pounds. And, oh, <laughs> man. Uh, Phil, man, you're just not, not show business fat. Could I introduce you in a deep fried stick of butter, perhaps? And there's Stephen Clark. I, I love this guy's comic performance. It's like a taco. Like the crunchy shell of wit witticism of the accounting stuffed with the loner serial killer slash uh, spree shooter. Mm -hmm. I could just eat it up. Yum, yum, yum. And then there's uh, Mr. Rick, Mr. Nick Brown. Uh, insert tasteless racial epithet here. Oh, fuck. I thought I'd finish writing this bit. Right. Well, it's not about doing the dozens with him. But as it turns out, his mother is not all that fat. And remarkably, remarkably sexy for her age. I mean, I do her. Yeah. And then there's uh, Chris. Chris Davison, our host tonight. I just love that bit you do about raping monkeys. That is like my funniest bit. Yeah, you know, it just goes like, a, oh, you know, you can't rape a whole ape because they're big and strong. So you got to get a little monkey and you got to rape it. And then, ah, oh, it wouldn't call. And it never kissed me. And it gave me AIDS. Monkey AIDS. Oh, my God. And it was a chimpanzee. How'd you get monkey AIDS, you dirty slut? You've been fucking shit monkeys, haven't you? You've been getting raped by monkeys behind my back. Monkey AIDS. Ah, uh, then Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. You're two years old today and using the toilet like a big boy. Yeah. I don't, like, think that I, uh, doubt you have the injury you say you have. But I don't know. That injury report seems kind of fishy to me. I don't know. Semen has a swelling in his skull. Pressure, swelling is... That's just too close to... Seaman's skull is swollen with semen! 
Oh my god, I know you were new to the boat and all, but uh, for the future, spit or swallow. Spit or swallow. Could have been like ear fucking, but I'm not a doctor. How was I to know that? So anyway, so uh, the one thing I really fucking hate about Richard is he's so fucking likable. Richard, do me a favor. Call some grandma a cut. Hey, grandma, you're a fucking cut. Fuck you. Just once. Just, just like... Kick a puppy! Kick, kick, kick a puppy! Just, ah, I, 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 uh, or you could slap a bitch. Just wait till the bitch mouse off. Shouldn't take too long to, bat, slap the bitch. Then I can be around you and go, and everybody goes, oh, Richard, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he's a nice guy. He slapped a bitch. Yeah, yeah. But Richard, you know, he's got a great future ahead of him. A great, long, dark bleak future, made even more unbearable by the lanterns of false hope flickering out just beyond reach. Happy second birthday, Richard. Aloha. Excuse me, I was just shaving my balls. Excuse me, I was just shaving my balls, but enough of that.